Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers and subscribers at the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen, but not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because it saves lives. That is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives on this channel. We at this channel aid criminals, their financiers, their supporters, enablers and the likes with a passion and we do not want them over here. Yes, let us repeat ourselves. We do not want any criminal supporters over here. Please, we do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you, the criminal supporters, enablers, financiers and all the likes to go to prison or madness. Let's me repeat myself. We are the Jamaica Young Police Channel. We do not want the criminal supporters on their circle over here. We want you to go to prison or madden. Moving on to yes, sir. our video. You know, today, um, it, this is just a reminder to the Patreon members because um, you know a few of you, you know, a few Patreon members had contacted, you know, the Jamaica Young Police Channel wants, uh, you know, wants to know about the the video that's coming about who killed um, Douglas Chambers. So we just can't um, letting you guys know that it's coming out August 13, 2023. That's this Sunday, so you'll hear it. And it's only for Patreon members only, and it is this Sunday. So you will get the name, the names and faces of those who are responsible for the death of this man, Douglas Chambers. Um, you're going to, you're going to be shocked to find out <laughs> the people who are behind it. You understand? And we're just gonna give you a little insight because um, you know it's people from within the PMP LGBTQ plus party, and the person, the person who have given the order is still alive and is still in politics all of them um, some of them are in union when I say union I'm talking you know union that affiliated with the PMP party the PMP LGBTQ plus party and that's the reason why they killed him the reason why they had killed this man um, it's because of the impropriety the illegal activities that were going on at the JUTC at Spanish Town. People were getting paid and they weren't doing any work. You know, it, it, the same thing that the same policies that they are from the 70s that they were using there. So, you know, um, the JUTC is an entity that has been losing money. We do not know of any, any business that lose revenue. Not making any profit that is still viable. But the government is still keeping it because it's a way of feeding their supporters and activists. They just need to scrap the, um, the JUTC. But you know the reason why they created the JUTC is just out of bad mind. Yes, the JUTC was created out of bad mind by Peter Phillips, by Dr. Peter Phillips, yes. The PMP LGBTQ plus party is a criminal organization and a lot of bad mind people. So the reason why they create the JUTC, remember before the JUTC, we used to have the JOS, yes, the you know Jamaica Omnibus Service. Those of you um, who weren't around and you know who know of Patty Pan and all those things, the JOS bus they used to be in green. Back then, green was not a problem to the Jamaican people, even the people in the PMP communities, because it was a part of the system, and it was buses. Um, that was there. It's not like now these people are passionate about their political colours. And the Jamaica Omnibus Service was a government agency, you know, where you know you 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 you, you know you get your um you get your ticket when you go on the bus and these buses were automatic. And what happened, you know, over the years then it was crap because the state wasn't making any money from it because you know these buses were on schedule. It's not like how when the private sector had it. 
so the, the government had sold it and so um you know the, um disband the ju J, joa service and by disbanding it um they have allow private entity to start the bus services so that's how you have my men uh men like ezra millwood yes ezra millwood um they said that the man was a conductor and he from a conductor become a millionaire in jamaica so the pmp that's dr peter phillips when he was minister of transport the, you know he was able to see the man's bank accounts and you know bad minders take take him over so they just create the jutc and decided they're going to buy out these people and the government did not did not live up to their bargain and Ezra Mid Ezra Ezra Midlood, Midlood had to take the government to court to get his money after he understand they're supposed to buy you know pay him off because the PMP you know they cannot create jobs. They don't create jobs. I am telling you that. Every job that they create is for their surrogates to go there and to create problems. They don't create jobs. When they were when they came in, we used to have Goodyear uh, in St. Thomas, Goodyear because of them, Trevor Manu and the PMP, Goodyear move out of Jamaica. We used to have Surge Island, and you can name we, the, the amount of companies that leave Jamaica when they were, were in power. But most of the Jamaican people, not only that they, are, they have sharp memory, they don't understand economics. And because they can't eat a food, they don't care. These people are nuts. They don't look out for people. They only look out for themselves. Everything with them is what's in it for me. So it's out of bad mind that the, um, the JUTC was created and it was created as a way to fund the Klansman gang in Spanish town. So you know the Klansman gang members, they were on the payroll of the JUTC. And these men were getting pay for doing no job. So when the government changes, you know, and this man went to Spanish Town and heard of the irregularities. People who are from the unions who were in the meetings there with um, Douglas Chambers realized that this man was a no nonsense man. This man knew his numbers and stuff like that. And, you know, the people, them, they were thiefing tires, they were thiefing oil, gas, everything that they can think of. They were thiefing everything from JUTC. So it was losing money. So people had to account now for their criminal acts. And in the long run, what they did, people were in the meeting, they were watching this man, knowing that when he takes break, and then they have lookouts that was there looking out for him when he comes out, because you cannot smoke on the compound, and that was one of his weakness, because he's a smoker. And this man was killed by a black man, and the instruction off is done, the inner the done of the Klansman gang back then, that's Stesha Miller. And from there everything start to go downhill. So they kill this man. Not because he had done anything wrong, but because he's there now to account for the Jamaican people money. Because the Jamaican people's money were tied up in the JUTC agency. Big name, pe big name people within the PMP NEC were involved. People who were in the trade union. They were at the meeting and from the meeting they would relay certain information and all the Im um, illegal activities, the improprieties that were discovered and they would pass it on to their their handlers. By passing on to their handlers, they decide then that Douglas Chambers had to be killed because uh, several people would have gone to prison because fraudulent invoices, um, people, you know, they, they see one vehicle would, you know, would get um, a certain amount of gas for the day in which that the amount of gas that that vehicle would get for the day could drive for a month so they were just milking the system and this man was there now to 
not only to stop it, but to make sure that those who have committed the crimes are held accountable. The mistake that he had made, well, not any mistake, because we're supposed to be living in a world where you don't do anything wrong and your life's not supposed to be in danger. And you're not supposed to be fearing your life. This man didn't even know that they wanted to kill him because he thought that he was in these private meetings with these people because it was like a handover, you understand? And you realize when they're handing over, you realize that, wait, six is not nine and nine is not six. So, you know, we have to fix this. If this is six, yeah, we have to turn back the number and not, is not nine. And six is six and nine is nine is nine. And so when, you know, during the handover and, the, you know, the changing of documents, you know, handing over to him, you know, via computer and paperwork, he realized a lot of irregularities. And that's when the alarm bells went off in their head and they decide that, well, we have, to, we have to get rid of this man. After they had passed it on to their handlers, you know, politicians, yeah, member of parliament, people who were running for political office, you understand? Yes, and they know themselves, they, they're listening right now, they know themselves. Because, and we thank, we thank the, the, the special branch police officers who have shared all of this information with us because that's the reason why they, they scrapped special branch, you know, because the special branch people, they did not protect the PMP LGBTQ plus party as they used to because the mindset of some of the police officers that day, they weren't like their predecessors, um, predecessors, people before them. So they wanted a different Jamaica, not like the Jamaica that Corporal Rowan James wanted, where corruption is rampant. So that's what happened. And when information reached back, the handlers, you know, they, and they held a meeting, people from the N PMP, N PMP LGBTQ+, plus NEC, yes, you're going to hear the names, and they're going to be wondering, oh, this little old police, no? Yeah, thanks to Special Brand. So that's the reason why the PMP LGBTQ plus party, when they were in government, they used Owen Ellington to scrap Special Brands. Because these police officers were very meticulous in investigation and creating a dossier. So some of the files that were there at Special Brands, when they scrap it, it's not all of the files that they hand over to the police hierarchy, you understand? Some of them are elsewhere in safe places. So that's why even with Corporal Rowan James, all those things came out too. Yeah, thanks to the special branch people and the others. But if you want a better Jamaica, you have to first you have to denounce criminality. If you love the killing and the criminality, well, it's just gonna be the status quo. Cause we have seen it, you know, the PMP is not going to change. We're just open, you know, wishing that the JLP LGBTQ plus party can make a turnaround for the better and change, change its course. We have no, we have no hope in the PMP in doing that because we have already seen what they are all about. Because we see Mark Golden marching with Danville Palmer, a man who have killed several Jamaicans. Yes, and he was convicted for murder and now he's out on parole. I've never seen nothing like that before. So we are relying on the JLP LGBTQ plus party for them to reinstate the death penalty and make murder just one murder is just murder. Don't follow white people um, in America and other jurisdictions. Liberals talking about first degree murder and second. Murder is murder. It's one life people have. Don't bother with that madness. Just bring it back right back to the fore as the British have left us. You commit murder, even Stephen. When the Rastas them um, did kill the, the police in in Coral Gardens, yes. In less than five years, um, they were tried, convicted, and hung in Spanish town. Yes, Bustamante did that. So if this government is serious about reading the country of crime and getting rid of criminals, that is what they need to do. You understand? Try them fast. Pop their necks. Within a speedy time. So, people who are in the Patreon squad, um, tomorrow we'll touch base with you guys. But, you will get your... your video of 
the killers who killed Douglas Chambers and all the people involved. I hope that you people enjoy the the rifle video, the rifle one of the British video of all the people who are involved in the in their killings. All of them from the the bike rider to the shooters to the big spenders, the people who spend the pounds and to the people who are promised um Yours truly, ten thousand pound to take down the video. I hope you enjoy to see that we at the Jamaica Young Police Center. We are not doing this for money. You understand? So I hope that will show you that we are different. Because if we are doing this for money, ten thousand pound that's a lot of money just to take down one video. Why somebody would want to spend ten thousand pound to take down a video? They only they are there alone would know why. But we at the Jamaica Young Police Center, we can only. come to one conclusion that the reason why they wanted the video to take down is not to expose them the people who have killed these men and pretend that they are friends so if you want to see that video in its entirety it's over an hour you'll have to go to patreon so you'll hear from day one from the killing of Tully and if they really want to kill Roy Falson you'll hear that in that video too and you're gonna hear about um, who is responsible for killing um, Trinity, that's Glenroy Edwards, they call him Trinity. Who is responsible for killing Willie, Willie Allen, yes, from England. You're going to hear the names and you're going to be shocked. So that's why we tell you that there is no honest criminals in it. None. Zero. So sometime in life they say it's, you know, what goes around comes around. If you have it this far listening to, you know, this commentary and you haven't subscribed to the channel, yes, please subscribe. Yes, like the video. Yes, like the video. Share the video. And most importantly, comment below. And remember that we have a Patreon link. Yes, see it right there. Patreon.com slash Jamaica Young Police Channel. And it's in the description box. Select it. If you want, if you want to know who had killed, who's responsible for killing Douglas Chambers. And you're going to be shocked to hear the names of some of these people. People that you looked up to. And you see them all the time on TV. Not knowing that these people are killers. Have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica, Young Police Channel, out.